What's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. You know what's happening to me, don't you? You are dying. You have two souls within you. One wants to fight. The other is afraid. Which one's mine? Both. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation. This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. 
The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, Spirit of the Air, with our mind, body, and soul. At least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. You see that? There was a Zen master here, and poof, he vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Yeah, good idea. Oh. You ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. He didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah, maybe. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. You want to meditate too? No, I want to read his tarot. You want to read my tarot? Sure thing. The Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority. Rebellion and fanaticism. 
He is a grave threat. The devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. I'll watch out. I'm glad you understand. In the bathroom! Oh, fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was only gone an hour. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. Won't solve anything. Ah, I should have sensed something that it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24 7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to. <laughs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Checked her pulse? V... She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead horde of them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. 
I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Sorry, no can do. Cheapskate. You could get hooked again. I don't want that on me. V, just give me a fucking smoke. Sorry, fresh out. Shit, try, V. I know you're not. How? Don't piss me off. Not now. <laughs> Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some time space or time she'd get back on her feet stay strong Judy don't let this tear you down you know what let's just not say anything for a minute okay remember fingers how he said Evie was with him for four days. Yeah, did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her the things he did and once he got bored he pawned her off wait so you found other recordings had another look at the corrupted ones you know lots of static hard to pick up anything really at some point I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow.
Marta Frixen was the order. Beast of the Rays alone, Romeo and Juliet. You know that story. This one's not so different. Martha is in a coma in the hospital. Her father wants Gustavo to pay. And to be? Demand quick payment. Details attached. Because we're not running a fucking charity, Mano. Let's panic, Morcar. Achilles tendon is the big one above the hill. Maybe that'll teach that idiota to pay his debts on time. And if it doesn't, then he won't be running away that easy.
Another sinner finds himself in the place he belongs. A drunk. Gustavo now suffers the purgatory he deserves. And perhaps as a moment to examine his conscience. Let's hope he finds it before the trunk opens back up. This concludes our contract. Fuck you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along. What's going on here? This your first day in Night City? What's it fucking look like? Get out of here, pissant! Leave him alone. See this badge? That means I can do whatever the fuck I want! Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? Is it really that hard to figure out? I'll give you a hint. It starts with Euro and ends with dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? That'll do. Now, run off to your little castle made of glass before you run into someone who won't be so understanding. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VDBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. What's this task needs doing? What? You're gonna go picky on me now? The contact will fill you in on the deets. I got zero from him. Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you.